Hello guys, we are going to be talking about um, my New Year's resolutions. Okay, so pretty much, if you guys are unaware, um, the new year is coming up pretty, pretty quick. Um, today I'm filming this and it is December 30th and the new year, it's the new, the new year and I don't know, I'm just excited and I'm nervous and so much is happening and yeah, let's just talk, let's just talk and let me talk about my new year's resolutions. So I made a list and we're going to talk about it. So, okay. Let's see, the new year starting, I'm going back to school, um, the first, on the 7th of January, I'm going back to school, I'm starting my second semester of my second year, and I'm going to graduate this year, and technically I'm not going to graduate until after the summer is out, because I have to take one more class over the summer, but I'm going to be walking graduation here in May, um, those are like the big events, and I am planning to, um, yeah, do a bunch of stuff. Um, I'll be right back, and then we'll finish this. Hold on, hold on. I'm back, okay. Let's talk about it, guys. Okay, so a lot is happening. I am gonna share with you some of my resolutions. What's happening? Is that, is that a hair? Oh, what the, okay. I got it. Okay. Okay. So I've got a couple of sections of my resolutions. I've got my thoughts and mindsets. I've got my main resolutions. And then I've got resolutions that are for after, after May. And I'll explain that as we get there. Okay. So here are my resolutions. So thoughts and mindsets, these are kind of just like what I want to be thinking going into the year. I want to be, um, I want to be, well, I'm like adding stuff as I go. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. I would like to be more optimistic. I feel like I am very an optimistic person. I very much am always putting out the energy of goodness, but I feel like I want to do that more if I can and just be a little bit less like the universe is out to get me um the last couple months like honestly since like september or so i have been going through it honestly since i've been back to school i've been kind of going through it quite a bit um but i do think that a lot of stuff that comes my way i have to just like take it as i can and kind of just do as best as i can like obviously like i'm i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that like the universe and or like if you know if you believe in god i'm not really the one type person to be like you know it's god's plan for me or like you know i'm more of like a universe gal and i feel like you know it's like you take it as you can because the world's gonna put you through shit um another thing i want to do is like be um and not be i want to stop overthinking i want that like to be a thing where i just kind of stop overthinking I th overthink a lot of things like the way my friends feel about me. I even overthink how my boyfriend feels about me. I get stressed out so quickly about it, which is like such a bad habit. And I think it also like has, you know, past things have come up and like you get, you get just, you know, you get in that sort of energy and it, it sucks, but it's true. So I want to work on just my overthinking. I kind of want to come back to reality a lot quicker, stuff like that. Um, open to new opportunities. I would like to just kind of like let things come in. And if I feel like if I if I let things come in and if I open up a little bit more and I let new opportunities come in, then maybe I actually will get those good things that I've been wanting, you know. Um, and last but not least, my for my mindset, I would like to trust my gut more. I would like to really trust my gut more. My gut knows what's up. Trust it. That's it, pretty much. Okay, let's get into my big boy resolutions. My uh, big. My resolutions that are all year round, all year long. Okay, first of all, I would like to start taking care of my skin better and having a specific routine and sticking to it. And then obviously, like if that doesn't work, you know, you switch it. Um, and I want to like pay more attention of doing those things day and night, and when you're or when you're supposed to, obviously. Um, so I really want to go back 
um, and get like this hydraulic acid um, serum for my face. I also want to just like start making sure that I'm washing my face thoroughly day and night and moisturizing and putting on the, you know, type of skincare that I need to do. Um, I had my friend um, from school make me a skincare routine, so I want to be able to make sure I have each of those things in my routine. Um, I asked her if the um, cleanser and the moisturizer that I'm currently using are good. She said yes, so really I just need like, you know, some extra serums here and there. Um, and she gave me some recommendations for ones that will be affordable, which will be nice. So I want to try to get those before I go back to school, that way I have them. Um, next, I would also like to start going to the gym more consistently. Um, as well as, obviously we're human, and I also put in parentheses, as well as understanding life is hard and when you can't make it to the gym, work out at home of some kind. So I've been loving Pilates as well, so I feel like I would like to get to the gym as consistently as I humanly possibly can and try to set up like more of a plan for myself in terms of going to the gym. But I also have to understand that life is hard, things happen, I get tired, sometimes I just can't make it to the gym, sometimes my anxiety is just too much. To go to the gym because that is so it's such a small gym in my school like we're such a small college that the gym is tiny and there's so many people and it is just a lot to handle sometimes so i think understanding that i am human and making sure that i do it at home as well um is a is a thing as well um okay looking good is feeling good put on those good outfits do your makeup do your hair slay that i also put, i put that in there slay um this one is just kind of like i want to i'm like you i know that i have cute clothing i know that i have good makeup i know that i have hair ties and you know shampoo and conditioner so it's like i just want to put a little more extra effort into making myself feel better by putting on those cute outfits and doing my make a little bit of makeup each day and like putting my hair up in a cute like thing like my hair's gotten long enough to where i can put my hair up in a bun if you guys saw my instagram picture i was wearing this sweater and i put my hair up in a little bun and it was just so nice it was so so cute and like this is a new sweater that i really really love and i feel like i want to wear it more often um this outfit right now i'm literally wearing leggings and a sweater so cute um and it feels like super cute and i feel good in it and i put in a little bit of makeup and even just having my hair washed is like such a you know good thing and i feel really good about it um, you know, it's about feeling good. That's all the point. Anyway, next is waking up early. I really, really, really want to force myself to wake up early. And in order to do that, I need to go to bed at a decent time. And it's hard when you're in college, obviously, because you have friends that want to stay up late and blah, 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 blah. But I want to make sure that I'm going to bed as consistently and early as I can because I know that I need a specific amount of hours. And I want to start getting up at 6.30 a.m. For one specific reason, I think 6.30 is going to be good because three days out of the week while I'm at school, like not including weekends, I will be getting up at 6.30 anyways to go to work because I'll be working at 7. So I'll have to leave 20 minutes later if I get up then. But I also think the other two days out of the week, it will be really nice for me to be able to get up early, even if it is just sitting in bed and, you know, eating breakfast or if it was like just doing my makeup and taking my time on things like that like i just think it'll be nice to kind of have that consistency this one you're really gonna like okay youtube consistency i want to build my channel up i want to find my aesthetic i want to become very consistent in my youtube channel as much as i can while i'm in school obviously i have to understand we're all human it happens I'm, it's going to be harder while i'm in school um for the last couple months but once i'm moving back and I'm done with school, I feel like I will have so much more time and I will have so much more fun things to do. Um, and it won't just be like more of a stressor. It'll be more fun. You know, obviously like I'll be working, I'll be having jobs, but like I'm hoping to get, and this will be like in my later resolutions, but I'm hoping to get a good job at like a teaching dance and like those could even bring like really fun opportunities for videos. And even just my daily life, like I prefer lifestyle videos, so I feel like it'll be a lot easier. And obviously I do want to do a lot of college videos if I can, all these last couple months I have there. But, there's that. I need water, my mic. Okay. Next is prioritizing money, making money, and managing my money better, as well as paying off debts and saving money. So I 
went to an emergency room. I've got a tiny bit of money I have to pay on that. I've got my credit card payments I have to pay on. I really want to save up some money that way when I move back um, to where I'm from. I'm not going to tell you. When I am done with school, I have like a bit of money to kind of like get myself going on whatever I choose to do. Um, just so that I'm not stressed out. Um, yeah, kind of just saving money and just kind of managing my money better and all that jazz. You know, classic, classic, classic resolution. Um, okay, last but not least in my regular just like resolutions is dancing, creating, and choreographing small things for myself. So, I have a list of music in my phone of just like songs that I just like want to create stuff to. Even if it's just like a snippet. And I feel like I want to try to take some time this semester to choreograph and film it and put it on my Instagram. And kind of show my artistry a little bit more. And just like work on myself and my choreography and my skill and my dancing and just like stuff like that. So, I just want to work on that. Okay, so here are my after May resolution. This is most, not after May, but like, probably more like an after April kind of resolution. Because I, technically, school gets out in like the first two days of May. So, maybe it's after April. Anyway, um, one of them is to have whatever, I don't really know what my plan is after school yet, to be honest. But I just want to have a space that I love. And I want to have a space that is organized and where everything has a place and that is just one thing that I stress about a lot when it comes to being between school and here and school and wherever and like having I like I hate moving so much and I think this is like a past thing because you know my parents separated and I ended up moving houses a lot and I think I really just want to have a space that is mine and that is set you know um another one is I want to cook I want to be a chef. I want to cook good meals so bad and I just can't wait to have a stable income to a point where I can go grocery shopping and buy good foods and make myself good foods and good meals and I'm just so excited about that. Um, another thing I really like to do um, is either have get a new, either get a new car or be financially ready to get said new car. Um, Obviously, like, I know getting a car is very difficult. I think I've been trying to build up my credit. That way I could um, get a loan for a car because I my car is so gross. It is crappy. It barely works. Um, I love her, but she just is getting by. It is a really hard time. And I just really would love to have a nice newer car, preferably, um, preferably in the double digits, I'll say it, because my car is a 2009. And... I would love to have like a even a 2015 even a 2015 like even that like i would love to have like a maybe a 2018 would be really nice um but i would just love to have a new car that's pretty much what i'm getting at and even if it's like okay you're i'm using all year to prep for said new car and i get it like january february of 2025 like that would be fine that would be fine so that's a goal is mine as well um, I would really like to learn how to sew. That's a thought. I have a sewing machine that I got like a while ago and I have no idea. I mean, I do know where it is, but I just have no idea where to start in terms of teaching myself how to sew. Um, I did take sewing classes when I was younger and I kind of know, but every time I try to sew with that thing, it like breaks or something and I don't know why or how to use it correctly. So I would really love to learn or have someone teach me. Just a thought. Um... The last two are dance related. I want to start my own modern based company um, that would be free of charge, free of money. We would be working out of hopefully my dad's, um, my dad has like warehouses that are actually music venues for DJs and bands and stuff, but I'm hoping to work out of there during the day um, and have like a little more of like a dance collective kind of company situation for modern because I just want to create with a I want to create with a group of people and that's just kind of what I want. Um, I would also like to audition for some modern based companies in Salt Lake um, areas and yeah pretty much. And then I would also like to start teaching again. Um, I worked at a dance studio over the summer and I love them and I would be hoping to get a job there permanently. Um, we've already, I've already kind of talked about that with them 
and it sounded like it's it's gonna be possible i haven't talked to them since i worked there over the summer but when i did talk to them then um they pretty much kind of sounded like they were planning to have me back next summer which would be this upcoming summer um so that's a goal of mine as well um yeah we're going into a new year i'm pretty much that's all my resolutions if you guys want to see like my ins and outs of 2024 go check out my tiktok go check out my tiktok the link is in the description um i posted an ins and outs video i did talk about some of relatively similar things in this video but if you want to see like all of them go check it out i did a lot of other fun things on there um but yeah no we're going into 2024 it is crazy i feel like so much has happened this year um and if like you know you saw any of that like the biggest things that happened to me this year i think i would say it would be like getting my boyfriend whom of which i love so much and i am so grateful for um and just like doing school and all that was okay sorry guys i had to take a pit stop because my butt hurts so bad Ugh, okay anyway doing school and going to um acba which is an american college dance competition for college students um it's big 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 uh we did that i've done a lot of things with my team and a lot of big things are coming into 2024. My dance team is going to Kalamazoo, Michigan. We're doing a festival. I'll probably bring you guys along with that as well. We're doing ACD again, which is literally the week after we get back from Kalamazoo, like the week of getting Kalamazoo, to be honest. Um, so that's gonna be a lot. Um, I've got a lot of new hobbies this year. I'm crocheting now. I'm doing all this fun stuff. I've gotten a lot more invested in my YouTube channel, I feel like towards the end of this year, which has been really, really nice. I don't know, I feel like I've been doing so much and I feel like I've been really coming into myself this year a lot, which has been really, really nice. And I've been saying really, really a lot to take a shot every time I say really, really. Yep, anyway, I'm done now. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I feel like I could talk a lot more about like this year and next year and all these big plans I've got, but I feel like you're just gonna have to subscribe and join the journey if you wanna see how this upcoming year goes for me. Join us here on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah. If you guys have any questions or anything fun you want to tell me, tell me your... I lied. I lied. Tell me what your New Year's resolution is in the comment section. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe like I've been saying this whole damn time. Like the video. Comment your resolution. And go follow my TikTok and see my ins and outs. That's it for this video. I love you all.